At ease, brothers. I am sold. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but, uh, you know, I've just had a lot of life going on, right? I've attended some graduations. I've, I've attended, you know, uh, some weddings. Uh, unfortunately, I've attended some funerals. And, uh, you know, and, and for the remainder of that, man, the soul just felt like he needed to fall off of the grid for a minute, right? But it feels good to be back in the saddle, right? There's this stat that I've heard, man, and I heard it some years ago, and it says something like, it's something like 20% of men get 80% of the women. Now, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but in a nutshell, what it's saying is there are a small percentage of men that are getting the majority of women. And I can remember when I heard this stat, like, like I really didn't even put thought into it. You know, but over the years, man, understanding how, or observing rather, how men are, are falling for some of these thirst traps or conducting themselves around these thirst traps, you know, observing how women are conducting themselves and, and disrespecting and showing, you know, all type of uh, 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 sour energy, energy around certain men. I'm starting to understand, man, that that stat, you know, whether it's skewed or not, it, it's pretty accurate, man. There are a small percentage of men that are getting the majority of women. So today, brothers, I want to speak to those 80 percent, right? And I want to tell you three reasons, brothers, why women aren't dating you. Three reasons why women aren't dating you. Now, I have to give you a bonus, brothers. I have to I have to tell you about something that changed my life, you know, significantly, man. You know, you know, life changed when I started showing myself uh, self love, you know. When I started, you know, taking my health a little bit more serious, right? Started shedding the pounds, you know, he, you know, so used to be almost 270, 260 plus, you know. Once I started eating different, once I started, once I started taking care of my money a little better, once I started uh, 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 making plans for the future and just moving different, man, life changed. But that self-care, that self-love, man, it's everything, right? And I can remember the moment I started taking my skincare seriously, right? If y'all watched my videos uh, over a year ago, two years ago, especially on my old channel, man, I was making videos looking like The Walking Dead, brothers. My skin was just ripped up and damaged and pores jacked up, man. You know, until a sister pulled me to the side and said, so, like, 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 you moving wrong. Like, like, you need to, you know, step your game up, brothers. And that's when I found Tej Hanley, brothers. Once I started using T. Shaley, man, life changed, brothers. Because I'm going to tell you this, man. Women love touching this chocolate skin. Women love touching bronze skins. Women love touching that vanilla skin. And I'm telling you, man, T. Hanley changed the game for me. Now, brothers, y'all know I've been using T. Hanley for a minute now, right? To be honest, man, it's just as important to me as my, as my morning and my evening meditation rituals. I just don't go a day without it. Does it work? Huh? You see the skin? You, you see the sisters commenting in the comment section? I can show you the one or two sisters that's commenting in the DM saying, so your skin is looking amazing, brother. You know? And the thing is, I want the same thing for my brethren as I want for myself. And that's why I'm excited to have Tej Hanley as a sponsor of today's video. They have helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. Honestly, it's the best skincare system for guys like us. I recommend you start with their level one system, which comes with all the basics. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin. A two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dead skin cells. An AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun and a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. My favorite part about Tej Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you how to use each product, how much to use, and in what order to use it. They really make the process of achieving and maintaining amazing skin easy. Their products have made my skin look and feel better than ever before. But hey, don't take Soul's word for it. Go to the website. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers all over the globe. In addition to the amazing skin, members of Tej Hanley get tons of benefits, 
including one, at least 20% off the retail price, two, the ability to customize your box, three, the ability to pause or cancel at any time, and four, free shipping if you're in the US, even low cost shipping to most other countries. I'm telling you brothers, you know, I am a believer now. This is one product that I will not go without. And because Tej Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the link in the description box and you'll get 30% off of your first box plus a free gift. Seriously, brothers, that's an amazing deal. Click that link and get started today. Now, three reasons why women won't date you, brothers. The first reason, man, and a lot of y'all are going to disagree with this, but the first reason why she won't really date you is because you feel unworthy. You low key don't feel like you're worthy enough to even date her, man, to even be entertained by her, man. I'm telling you, brothers, you got to understand this. You have to understand, man, that that women have 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 gauges and sensors, you know, you know, all around them, man. When a brother walks in the room, they're picking up on all type of uh, uh, internal workings of that man. The way he walks in a room, the way he speaks, the way he conducts himself around his, 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 uh, his peers, the way he conducts himself to us uh, subordinates. A win, a, a, I'm telling you, brother, women are picking up all kinds of things, especially when it comes to you, you trying to, you know, quote unquote, shoot your shot. I'm going to tell you, Miss, a, woman, a woman is observing the way you shoot your shot, man, and, and is making a, make, making a lot of decisions based on that. Because a lot of you brothers, a lot of you brothers, instead of going in for the slam dunk trying to shoot your shot, you brothers are in the, in the bleachers, man. You, you brothers are shooting a shot from the rafters, you know. And women are saying, you know what, this brother is pretty much saying he's not worthy of me. And what that looks like is simply your approach. You know, I see a lot of y'all brothers, man. Or well, let me just say, I know how brothers move, right? A lot of y'all brothers will see a sister on the gram because, you know, I ain't gonna lie. It seems like most relationships start on social media nowadays. TikTok, the gram, the book, it's just a crazy world, right? Most of you see, most of you brothers will see a sister on the gram and you feeling her. You're like, you know what? She cute, uh, look like she's single or whatever. She lives in the state next to me, whatever, right? And instead of just saying, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot my shot. Let me, let me hop in the DM and man, see what she about. You will sit there and like every single one of our pictures for a whole year. Right. And then once you get the gonads, once you, once you find your gonads and say, you know what, let, let me shoot my shot. You hop in her DM and shoot her from the bleachers. Like, Hey, like, like I've been watching you for a while. She's like, I know, you know. And you just come with some light game, like, hey, hopefully uh, one day if the stars align, you know, one day if we cross paths in, in, in a certain city, that, then maybe, maybe, you know, you entertain me over a cup of coffee or maybe some dinner. And I'm telling you, bro, what the first thing she's saying is, you know what, this brother feels like he's not worthy. He, he's not, not only is he kind of scared, he's not, he's not worthy to come at me. Not even on the gram, man. You can even see, brother, e even in real life. You can go to a, a, a sister, man. She might be working, uh, uh, she might be a cashier at Subway. You like her. You going to Subway every day. Subway ain't that good. You going to Subway every day making small talk, you know, but you scared to shoot your shot. Women are picking up on that, man. And after you wait for so long and then you finally shoot your shot, she's, like, she's not even interested anymore because you showed your true colors. You showed you're really not worthy. When you know you're worthy of, of, of a sister, man, you, you, go straight, you go straight in for the, for the kill, bro. You let her know like, hey, you know what? Boom, boom, boom. Well, you looking cute or whatever your game is. And say, hey, you know what? Let, let's, let's chop. Let's, let's meet up. Uh, I'll be in town next Friday. Let's meet. Let's have dinner. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you that goes a long way, man. That goes a long way because you got to understand, you got to understand, man, when it, when it comes to women, you got to understand, man, like we can all get in the mindset and say, oh man, well, well, you know, well, uh, all, I, I'm a certain way and I'm treating all women a certain way, which is, which is true. But you got to understand in, 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 the, in the category of ladies, there are levels to it. You see some of these bad chicks, man, that are, you know, eight, nines and tens. These sisters know that every brother can't shoot their shot, man. 
they know this, brother. So I'm telling you, man, just, just when, when you come at these women, you have to come correctly. You, you, have, you have to separate yourself from the masses, man. I'm telling you, the majority of these bad chicks, brothers are coming to them sideways or scared, man. And you'll be surprised, man, on how much of, of, of your, your interaction, your, your, you know, showing a woman your worthiness supersedes, you know, you having the bag or you having, you know, uh, uh, you know the crib or, the, or whatever. You know, you having all these external things, man, you, your direct approach is going to speak volumes to a woman, man. It's saying I'm worthy. You know, look at a uh, look at a. Uh, 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 Kim Kardashian and and uh and her dude. I can't think of his name right now, but y'all know the dude, you know, she's been she's in the news every freaking five seconds, right? You know, I mean this dude, I, I'm sure I mean, I mean, comparing him to Kanye, I don't know what this dude does, but surely his bag ain't as long as Kanye, right? You know. Uh, Pete Davidson, that's his name, right? Pete Davidson is just a little old bitty, you know. Kim Kardashian, even though she's came, she's come out of a marriage, she's uh uh she's got, you know, three or four kids, she's got a sex tape out there. A lot of you brothers would still get with Kim K, right? And look at look at little Pete Davidson, man. Pete Davidson looks like every time I look at Pete Davidson, man, I think of Beetlejuice. Pete Davidson looked like a, a Beetlejuice stunt double, man. And he's sitting there with Kim K. You know what I'm saying? Something about that brother. Something about that brother, man, had to go had, had to come at her correctly, saying, "You know what? I know you just left a billionaire." I know you're Kim K. I know you're making, you know, millions off of you just being you. But I'm going to come at you straight directly, man. So, without running that, running that man, how, uh, running that to death. Brother, you have to show your worthiness, man. A lot of you brothers that aren't getting women, you're coming at women, you're coming at women in a submissive manner. You're coming from a place of, of needy. Women can pick up that needy stuff, bro. If you come in a woman, man, and you're craving her, and you're like, oh, I just want somebody in my life. Brother, she can smell that. She can smell that, brothers. So number one, number one reason, man, or one of the reasons is because, brothers, you, you are coming at her like you're unworthy. Like you're unworthy, man. Now, the second reason why most women won't date you is because you aren't on your square. And when I say you aren't on your square, brothers, what I'm saying is, you don't know who you are. You, you haven't defined yourself. When I talk about a man being on his square, that man knows what direction he's going on, going in. He knows his beliefs. He knows his morals. He's on his square. He's solid. He's 10 toes down on, on, on who he says he is. A lot of you brothers aren't on your square, man. And I'm telling you, a lot of women can pick that up. A lot of women can pick that up. The one reason you can tell when a brother is not on his square, man, if he if he's if he's more than one person in a variety of scenarios. Meaning if he if he's if he's this way over here, if he's this way when he's with a girl, if he's this way around family, if, he, if he's this way when he's in church, the, the brother isn't on his square, man. The brother that's unattractive, man. That's unattractive, man. I'm gonna tell you this. When you see soul, the soul you see on this camera. You go to you come on to the family reunion. You're invited. It's gonna be the same soul out there. You see the soul amongst the, his peers, same soul. You see the soul amongst whoever. I'm the same person because I've defined who I am, and everything else is irrelevant. A lot of you brothers haven't defined who you are, man. And I'm telling you, it's unattractive, man. You know, for example, for example. You know, you meet a girl and you like, hey, you know, uh, you know, you've been y'all been on the gram, y'all know each other. You you're putting this this persona out like this is who I am, and, and, and y'all go out on a date, man, and y'all get out amongst uh, in, in public, y'all interacting with waiters, y'all interacting with maybe some friends, and you a completely different cat. You know, say you take her to a, a work function, man, and you're introducing her to your to your supervisors and your your managers and your vice presidents. And she's like, man, this dude, this dude's whole demeanor is coming from a submissive place now. Like, like, like when I see him on the gram, he's a strong man. When I, when I see him doing X, Y, and D, he's strong, but now he gets around his, 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 uh, his superiors, right? And now he's cowering himself. He's cowering himself. You know, she riding with you and you get pulled over by the cop. 
And you're cowering yourself. You're not on your square. I'm telling you, brothers, a lot of men, I'm telling you this, bro. A lot of men, and maybe it comes with finding purpose. I don't know. Maybe that's all tied together. But a, a lot of men are just moving aloof in these streets. A lot of men are looking at brothers on the gram. A lot of men are looking at brothers on the book in the tube and say, you know what? I'm going to portray myself like him. And once they get around women, once they get around, you know, superiors, or once they get around legal or law enforcement or judges, there's somebody else. I'm telling you, man, a lot of women aren't wanting you because you haven't defined yourself. You aren't standing on your square, brothers. You know, that goes a long way, man. It's unattractive to a woman. It's unattractive. It is unattractive to, to be around a man like that. I don't want to be I don't want to be in, in the presence of another brother, man, that that uh, uh, that isn't on this square. Shameless plug, man. If you want to get with some solid brothers, holler at us in the power circle, man. We doing big things, man. We talking about we having we having very real conversations over there in the circle, man. Join the circle, man. I'll leave the link, man. Now, the third reason why women aren't dating you. And again, I'm talking to that 80 percentile of brothers. I know somebody's going to say something about me drinking out of this plastic bottle. Reason number three is because you're really not understanding what she's feeding off of, brothers. As a man, you really don't understand what women feed off of, right? And what I mean by that is a lot, and I've said this before, a lot of y'all brothers still think that it's, it's, it's the trinkets that come with quote unquote success. And I use that word loosely that women crave that, that, and, and sometimes brother, that, that can be the bait to get a woman's attention and get her trying to, but once she shows up in your presence, if that essence isn't there, man, brother, your days are numbered, you know, and she can feel that maybe on the first interaction, maybe before you even swap numbers, man. You might get in the DM, man, and, or, or, you know, whatever. And she can just, oh, this brother, oh, he, he's one of those. He has the bells and whistles, but he, has a, he, he doesn't have that real substance that creates that. I'm telling you, man, you have to understand what women feed off of. And it's essence. And this is the thing, man. This is the thing. Like, like when I talk about the 95% woman, when I talk about the 5% woman, which is the virtuous woman, you know, you have to understand these women both feed off of the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when we talk about women that are, you know, that are uh, want men for certain things and all that, the virtuous woman wants a man for the same reasons. The primary difference is the virtuous woman is reciprocating, whereas the Proverbs 5 woman, you know, wants that energy for herself to stunt for her sisters or to build her business or to do whatever. You know, but all women crave the same energy, man. And that, that energy is not bells and whistles. I've said this once and I'm going to say it a million times, man. When, when you find women, when you find women that, that are drawn to that, to the bells and whistles, the, the reason why a lot of women are drawn to that is because typically, right? Typically when a man finds that essence and finds his purpose, you know, and, and walks in his I am, the byproduct of that is being able to purchase nicer things and take nicer trips and buy the shiny belts and buy the whatever kind of vehicle you want. That's a byproduct of walking in your I am. But what a lot of brothers do since they don't have that purpose, you know, since they aren't on their square, since, since they aren't plugged in, what they'll do is they'll emulate the brothers that do have essence. And they'll say, oh, well, that brother got the shiny belt. That brother got the X, Y, Z. He got this, man. So, so let me obtain those things and now I'll be like him or I'll be like them. Lo and behold, sister comes through and she sees you with it. She like, oh, this brother is winning. You know, I don't really care about the bins and the crib. I, you know, those things are nice. You know, yeah, I want to partake in all that. But what I really want is that source that created those things. They take one step towards your brother and they're like, oh, he's a poser. He doesn't have it, you know. That's why he fought. Then you fall back in that 80 percentile of brothers, man. You will fall back in that 80 percentile of brothers. You know, I'm telling you, brothers, you don't have to have those things, man. If you have essence and not the, the bells and whistles yet, 
you're not going to be in that 80 percentile of women, uh, of brothers, man. It goes back to the Cletuses and, Cler- and Creflos. It goes back to the, uh, 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 what do y'all call them? Roscoe's and uh, whatever the other names brothers say, you know. Those brothers, a lot of those brothers don't have the bells and whistles, but they're still getting the women. They're still getting the women, man. So, yeah, man. A lot of you brothers that, 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 that are, I just don't understand what, you know, a lot of you brothers that, that are in those energies that say, they just say, you know what, man, I, I can't find a woman, man. I can't, I, women don't, on a tra- and I'm gonna say this. I know some brothers, I know some brothers with, uh, what a few dollars. I know some brothers that are six foot plus ripped up and all that and still can't get women. I'm telling you, it's less about the external factors than you think, man. It's an internal thing, man. You you have to move a certain way. And if you brothers, if you brothers want some deeper conversation, uh, conversation about it, book a session with me, man. Book a session or join the power circle, man. We're gonna get you right. We're gonna get you right, man. But these are the three reasons why women aren't dating you, brothers. Brothers, don't forget to click the Tease Handling link in the description box and get 30% off of your first box plus a free gift. How copy?